Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Francesca and today we'll be guiding you in this 30 minute yin class con focus hips and lower back release. Before we start, make sure to leave me a thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to receive notification every time I post. For this practice, I recommend using some props like some cushions and blocks to support your practice and if you would like to place a blanket underneath yourself on top of your mat there's always something I really like as it makes the ground more soft. We're gonna start laying down on the mat and once you arrive squeeze the knees to the chest gently swinging side to side allowing the back to relax on the mat. Then release the feet on the floor bring the sole of the feet together and widen the knees. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in through the nose then a big sigh up through the mouth. Close your mouth and start to breathe deeply in and out through the nose. Taking this moment to arrive on the mat, to arrive in the practice. If you feel that you need some support underneath your knees, you can always place some pillows on blocks there. Otherwise stay here, allowing the gravity to bring you closer to the floor. But in a position that you feel comfortable but where you feel your edge, we're going to pause that and close the eyes and breathe. Keep your mind focused on the practice, on any sensation arising from within. I'm going to hold each pose for about three to four minutes, but if at any point you need to modify your edge, you need to take a break, feel free to do that. Otherwise, I will let you know when it's time to come out. I will be talking less in this class, giving you the space and the time to go inward. Last three deep breaths here, perhaps going a little bit deeper, finding slightly more surrender. slowly start to wake in the body again carry the feet together knees together taking your time to move out of the pose there is no rush 
perhaps extending the legs out long, coming to lay for a moment down. And then start to make your way into a comfortable tabletop position. Take your time to transition there so there is no rush. The next pose we're going to go to is Dragon Pose with the right side. So whenever you're ready, place the right foot outside of the right hand. Take your space here and see any props you would like to use to support your practice. So I'm going to use a couple of pillows to make my chest a little bit higher. But if you have a bolster or if you have blocks, you can also use that. I personally like to have a support for my knee, so I'm going to fold my blanket, but if you've got a pillow or another blanket you can place, feel free to do that. And once you're ready for your position, close your eyes and release the head down. You can also place the elbows on the ground or on your block and use the hands to support your head. Take a deep breath in and out and close your eyes and stay here. Again, we're going to hold this pose for a few minutes. And I will let you know when we are less than a minute away, in case you would like to go a little bit deeper. One more minute here, see if your edge has changed, so if you would like to go a little bit deeper or if you would like to rise slightly higher. One more deep breath here. And then slowly start to gently rise up. Making your way into your counter pose, extend the right leg out and long, holding half split for a moment. And as you exhale, bend again the right leg and transition back into your tabletop position. Take a deep breath in and out through the nose. And we're going to go to the other side, so the other dragon side. Step left foot forward, create a padding for your knee in case you need it for the right knee. Reposition your pillows in the place that you prefer, your bolster. 
and as you exhale lower down I'm going to start again with my elbows on the floor on the pillows using the support of the hands for the, my face and if you notice that one side feels different from the other one that's completely normal again I will let you know when we are about one minute away to the end so you can decide whether we would like to change and go a little bit deeper or take a step back One more minute here. See if your edge has changed. So if you would like to go a little bit deeper or if you would like to rise slightly higher. One more deep breath here. And then slowly start to gently rise up. Finding your half split again as a counter pose. You can keep your eyes closed throughout this entire process if you prefer. Then as you exhale, release and make your way first into a tabletop position. See if you would like to take some rounds of cat cows, mobilizing the spine. So as you now open through the chest and look up and as you exhale round, moving gently at your own pace as you reconnect with the breathing. And then we're going to come into a seated position, preparing to go to a dragonfly. So widen the legs out and long. And place your bolster, your pillows, your support in front of you. Again, also in this case, if you would like, you can place the elbows on your pillows and use the hands to rest the head. Or you can go deeper, stay more upright. So choosing the edge, you can even support the back of the knees as well and close your eyes. 
Like before, I will let you know when we are about one minute away. We're going to stay here for one more minute to so see if you would like to make any amends, if you would like to go deeper or start to rise a bit higher. Finding that stillness again, that surrender. Slowly start to rise back up. Take a moment to notice any sensation into the body. Removing the props to the side. Place the hands underneath the knees and close your legs. Placing the feet on the ground. Start to windshield the knees side to side for a counter pose. When you're ready, prepare to come to lay on a side and on the floor, allowing the back to release on the mat. Take a moment here into a rebound pose into Shavasana, close your eyes and breathe. Give in time to your body to come back to a neutral position, to take in all the benefits of this practice. Relaxing the nervous system.
Next pose, we're going to come into a twist. So when you're ready, hug the right knee into the chest. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, guide the knees over the left leg. Again, you can choose to place any support underneath the right knee. So that could be bolster, pillow. Also, don't use anything. So make it comfortable for you to hold for a couple of minutes. Rotate the head to face towards the right hand and close your eyes without forcing any movement. Begin tapping the sensation of the release and surrender. Slowly start to awaken the body and moving out of the pose, extending also the right leg out and long, coming to lay down on the ground again, allowing the back to come back into a neutral position before we repeat on the other side. So hug the left knee to the chest, move the props to the side towards the right side and Guide the left knee over the right leg as you hold onto this twist and close your eyes again, rotating the head to face towards the left hand. Staying here in stillness, tapping in the sensation of surrender and ease.
slowly coming out of the pose. See if you like to come and lay down on the ground or perhaps you prefer to hug the knees to the chest as I'm doing. Gently swing side to side. Last pose is going to be Shabbasana. So see if you would like to use any props to support your Shabbasana place. Placing perhaps some pillows underneath the knees, maybe to support underneath the head and close your eyes. You can even use a blanket in case you're cold. And once you arrive into your Shavasana, take a deep breath in through the nose. Hold the breath in at the top for a moment. And then a big sigh out through the mouth. One more time. Take a deep breath in. Hold the end at the top. And then a big cleanse inside out through the mouth, letting go of anything that doesn't serve you anymore. As you allow your body to fully relax and let go. And use the breath, start to come back to the body, coming back to the present moment. And as you bring more awareness within, start to scan from the crown of the head all the way down to the feet. Visualizing every part of your body. And noticing if you're holding on to any unwanted tension. Slowly trying to let go of them. As you direct there, your energy, the breath, your presence. And slowly start to do this gentle movement to waken the body again. Without any rush, preparing to come to lay on a side before meeting again into a comfortable seated position to end the practice. Taking your time that you need to get there. And once you arrive into that seated position, bring the hands in a prayer pose at the center of the chest, closing your eyes. Finding these last few moments of stillness before getting on with the rest of your day. Extending gratitude towards yourself for showing up today, for your practice and this connection within yourself. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Hold it in. And then a big sigh through the mouth. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you did, please make sure to leave me a comment, a thumbs up, and to subscribe to my channel as this really helps me with YouTube. I'll see you tomorrow back on the mat.